Welcome back to Pebbles Adventures in Time. We still got that sound problem, I don't know why. But uh, we are in Ben Franklin's house, and actually, as I was loading the game, I came up with an idea that might just work. Let's uh, look at these. Again, a bundle of matches. Let's take them. Oh. Yeah, you're in your way in the way, Papa. <laughs> Let's pick up these matches. Ow. Oh. I was I thought you could use the matches because they're so big as uh, to like stair ladders, but I guess not. Uh Let's look at her. Sally is a pretty little girl with a sweet expression. Pepper thinks she's nice, but kind of wimpy. <laughs> Let's talk to her. Miss Franklin, what do you think about your parents' strange behavior? Oh, I, uh, I'm worried about them, of course. Papa's been so strange of late, and Mama is always gone. Where do you suppose your mother goes, Sally? I only wish I knew. I knew her fiery nature, though, I fear for her safety. She'd walk right up to General Park and swat him if she thought it would help Papa. Oh, that would be cool. She should do that. Let's uh, look at the truth. True, there were matches in the 18th century. They consisted of th thin wood sticks with small amounts of gunpowder on one end. Matches were expensive back then and were used carefully. Okay. Let's look at this plant. A nice bouquet of wildflowers sits on the sideboard. What's this? It's a big funnel connected to the pipe in the wall. Weird. You know, let's actually try going to this room. A route of Pebble to go back into the to go back into Franklin's private rooms. What? Oh, there's something right here. Pretty cherry wood sideboard. The door is slightly ajar and there's some kind of cart sticking out. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> right in front of the daughter. I wonder what's in here. Uh, let's see what this is. A piece of paper, I know that. The recipe card. The recipe card for chocolate bonbons. Oh yeah, I needed that actually. It has a note scrabble across the top. This card, too fattening. I'm gonna take that, because I need it. Look at this. Pebble finds a stack of recipe cards. Let's see. Blood pudding, steak and kidney pie, brains and eggs. Yeesh. Yeah, let's see if I can take those. Pebble doesn't need a stack of recipe cards. You can't even boil water without burning it. That's a... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, okay. I think I'll borrow this recipe card. You know what? I'm gonna use my magnet. Uh, where's the magnet? Here's the magnet. I'm gonna use the magnet. Well, not the magnet backpack. On this funnel. Yeah. I don't know why. thought maybe I could get something. Out. Let's leave, I'm going back into this room. I need um, a coin, actually. Let's use the magnet on this. That won't do much good. Oh. But yeah, I need a coin to get back, I remember. Because uh, they said that I needed to like get a coin each time I would. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I turned the volume way down. I, <laughs> I totally didn't realize it was that high. Uh, it's, it, there's something wrong with the settings. I don't know what. But uh, this is an old game. Who knows? There's a large blood red tomato looks ready to fall off the mine. Can I take it? 
Yes, I can. I now have a tomato. Awesome. Now I have everything I need. <laughs> let's, uh, but let's t see if we can actually go back. Because I need to give that recipe to that lady. I can't remember what she would give me, but let's let's go back there. Uh, come on, do it. Thank you. Hope it's not too low now. There really wasn't that much of sound anyway. I think I'll actually turn up the volume just a little bit. Turn the detail down, don't know why. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, that's the private room. How do I get out of here? Oh, this way. I need a coin! I think. Let's go back to those goons. Down here by the, the thing. Oh, they got tomatoes too. Let's, uh, talk to this motherfucker. Big or small? Take it to the General's Hall. Hey, Cecil, where's the General's Hall? That means Penn Mansion, you fool. Right, but does it mean particular hall in Penn Mansion, like the main hall, or the upstairs hall, or the hall that leads to the loo? <laughs> <coughs> Good day, pants. Uh, gents. <laughs> pants? What? I <laughs> Good day, pants. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I suppose it is. Let's hope the general's hall is not too small. It would be, now would it? It wouldn't be, now would it? Unless it's one of the, the one that leads to the loo. <laughs> to start it all, you might need a mall. Oh, blast. Montmorency, what did Percy Throwbuttle tell us to do again? Let's see, take a ball, throw it on the general's wall. No, wait, that's not it. Take a ball, no, take a doll, take it all. That's it. Take it all to the general's hall. Now look here, you better stop confusing us. Right. You know, of all seasons... Of the seasons all, I like the fall. That's when the trees grow sweet and tall. Is it nice? Isn't it is nice, isn't it? All those lovely colors. Don't talk to him, Monty. He's trying to confuse us. No, I'm not. I just want to tell you all about the amazing General's Ball. <laughs> this is funny. A ball, really? Oh, I love to dance. I'm quite a devil with the ladies, I am. They say the ball is big, not small. Hey, we weren't invited to no ball. Yeah, we weren't invited. Where are happies big and tall? Where happies big and tall, and you shall dance at the general's ball. I need to wear a wig, and I can go. Well, and I look dashing in a wig. Big and tall. I like. Oh. I wear that wig in your f the fall. Wear a wig, both big and tall. You, t oh my God! This is why a wig in the fall, big and tall, to get to general. Hey Cecil, there's a big shop in town. There is, but we don't have any money, Monty. Why is this text going so fast? Oh dear. Okay, let's, let's try again. You got lots of money. Percy said, take it all, big or small. Buy a wick in the downtown mall. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are dumb. And now the text is like... That. Right, that's just what he said. We got lots of money, we do. What are we waiting for? Right, but I get the right biggest and tallest wick, though. Says you. Let's hurry before they're all gone. I had to do it. It was too easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <And then he laughs> look at him run. 
Oh god, that was a lot he couldn't fit under his jacket. Can he fit the rest then? He could, well, except for that piece. <laughs> awesome. Let's see what this is. That's a tax. The tax sentry is left behind a small piece of tin. Let's pick it up. Don't know what I need it for. Hey, they left something behind. I wonder what it is. It's a piece of tin. I guess I'll hang on to it. I guess this is for the kite. Maybe the kite thing? Instead of a key, use a piece of tin? I don't know. Let's go back into town. And uh, give that lady, the sweet lady, her recipe. Whoa! Wait, there's a key! There's a key right there. But, I'll have to wait because I'm on a mission. I can't remember which way the mission takes me. I think it's this way. We need to go up to the 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 candy lady. No, nope, this is the wrong way, actually. Oh wait, or is it? Yes it is. That's the post office. That's a goat. Why is there a goat? I need to look at that goat also. So let's go this way. Do 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 do. Okay, so yeah, we need to go in here. Uh, there we go. And give the lady... I can't remember what she was going to give me. She was going to give me some cookies, I think? I don't know, I guess... Whoa! What the hell, this is so creepy. Well, it doesn't two handstone gents from town, James and Nathan Grayston. Good morning to you too, lads. What can I do for you? We we have a penny between us to spend, ma'am. What's the daily special? Sigh. The cabbage cookies today, boys. Would luck would you like some? Uh oh yes, ma'am, we would. Here you are, laddies. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh god. Ugh god, the delicious, ma'am. Just wonderful. Oh, here comes the motherfucker. Out of the way, you little rag muffins. If you can't pay taxes, maybe I won't arrest you. If you can pay your taxes, maybe I won't arrest you for your loitering. Hand over your money. But, but we don't have any money, just a penny. Want a cabbage cookie? No! Here, give me those things. Little dune for now. I don't want to see you little weasels in town again today. What an evil bastard. Did he take the ball? Or whatever it was he had? Another crying. Look at them. Oh, this is amazing. Sorry, I don't think that crying children is amazing, but <laughs> this just looks so damn funny. Look at the faces. I can't believe he took our stuff, James. At least he didn't get our penny, Nathan. It's a good thing too, because we owe Mrs. G Gumdrops. Oh, forget it. Forget the penny, lads. I, just, I know how dreadful those cookies are. Run along now before he comes uh, comes back. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Gumdrops. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Look at them. It's, it's real faces. They post on the pe they put on the people. It looks really creepy. <laughs> The other, the other ones are like cartoony, but they got real faces. Oh, Miss Gumdrops, are those boys l l a little unusual? Aren't those boys a little unusual looking? <laughs> yeah, that's what I just said. Okay, that was a cut. Sorry about that. But my uh, my virus, antivirus program, I suddenly started talking to me. I turned that off. I don't know why that would be turned off it, on in the first place. Who wants the virus program to talk to you? It just told... Oh my god, and right after that, a car alarm went off. Yeah, well, the whole world is interrupting my playing this game. But, um... Let's talk to this lady. Jeez, Mr. Gumdrops, that was a terrible way the general took taxes. Tax those poor little boys. How could anyone be so mean? Please, lad, call me Goody. <laughs> Goody. 
Uh, evidently, the general has a natural talent for being mean. They're lucky he didn't take any. You're lucky he didn't take anything from you. Uh, he'd been disappointed if he did. The watchman at the shed already robbed me blindly. Oh, what is th oh, what is this colony coming to? I don't know, but it's pretty awful. So, could I ask you a few more questions? Most certainly. Tell me what you want to know. What? I already talked about these things. Has Ben ever done anything like this before, Goody? Oh no, Ben is the most level-headed man in Philadelphia. He must be ill, that's all. I just hope he gets better before the whole colony goes to pot. Uh, do I really need to ask her these things again? I don't think I do, actually. Goody, why does colonists put up with the Puck's obnoxious behavior? Why don't they do something about it? Oh, believe me, they tried. We petitioned the king and got back a fancy pants letter reeking of perfume and sweet talk and lies. He didn't. E he did nothing for us. We even took a list of complaints to the Pox themselves. Oh yeah. So what happened? Seven arrests. That's w that's what. After being kept in the stocks for several days, even the strongest of us seemed to lose our will to fight. Of course, now most of the neighbors, my neighbors, have no will to do anything but sit around like lumps. Such a shame. Such a shame. Okay, I don't want to ask the last few questions because I don't really think that. What? I didn't, I didn't even push that thing. Okay, but well, let's give her the recipe. I think this is it. Here you go. Oh, she looks really <gasps> surprised. Goody, I have something for you. I thought you might like it. And I say after I give it a thing. Oh my! A recipe for my bonbons. For bonbons. Thank you, lad. If only I had some chocolate to bake them with. We'd be in business. Oh, how I miss bonbons. I'll tell you what, lad. I'll give you this lovely jar of pickled cabbage in trade for the recipe ca card. Gag. Oh, th um, thanks, Goody. Oh, shit. I didn't get to see what that said. I hate that the text goes so fast sometimes. And so oh, that this time was because I pressed, but that was because I wanted to... I, I wish the text, uh, like in newer games, the text just disappears when you press. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to press, but then it disappeared on its own. And leaving the text... And then I pressed the other text accidentally. But I think I'm gonna end the video here. Sorry for all the problems in this video. But uh, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow for more Peppa's Adventures in Time as we go look at the goat and that guy in the wagon. So uh, yeah, see you then. Bye.